The story of the band was a beautiful thing. It was so beautiful it went up in flames. There is no band that emphasizes becoming greater than the sum of their parts than the band. Simply their name, the band. That was it. Going from Canada down to the Mississippi Delta at 16 years old, Levon and I had come out with a different sound. Within a short time, we had Richard Brick, and when Garth joined, that gave us a leg up. Bob Dylan thought they were phenomenal, so he hired the guys. The king of the folk movement wants a rock and roll band. The rest of the world hates this, and they boo us every night. Working with Bob, we saw a door opening. Boom, no rules. We moved up to Woodstock into this ugly pink house, a sanctuary that we could go and write. This didn't sound like anything else. I thought, this is huge. It changed my life. And then everything stopped. They we're consuming a lot of drugs, drinking too much. That's not easy to deal with. This was a real band. All those spark plugs needed to be ignited, or it didn't work. It was beginning to feel like a real fracture. Something got broken, and it was like glass. It was hard to put back together again. We thought, let's come together one last time, the last waltz. If there was any American musicians that were comparable to what the Beatles were, it would have been them. When they came together, something miraculous occurred. We wanted to create something you have nothing to compare to.